strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... Ah! Ah! I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll uh, see there's nothing there. Mm. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... Ah! Ah! Run, Moo Moo! There's a monstrous uh, monster! Uh, don't exist. There must be a logical explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters, and all of a sudden we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. <sighs> They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go with them? No! There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush. What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all. Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Oh, lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye. Uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we'd better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Moo Moo, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh. don't do it. If you mess with the lion, do he's it. going to no. take revenge on <laughs> us. It's Alfred. He really scared all of us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why 
is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist. But I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! A lion! A vicious <laughs> lion is going to devour us all! <laughs> What a long day. There's nothing going on and I'm so bored. We could play something. Yeah, but what do you want to play? A long time ago at school, we put on a play and it was a whole lot of fun for everyone. What a great idea, Alfred. We can all play a part in it. The hardest thing is deciding which play to do. Why don't we do the three little pigs? I'm already a little pig. That sounds like a good idea. I could be the wolf since I'm already a dog. Rita and Milo could be two more little pigs. But what should we do with Mumu and Talalo? We could make Mumu the narrator of the story. And Talalo... Talalo can be in the crew and help out. Sounds good to me. Let's go get everything ready. My dear friends, I'm going to tell you the best story that you will ever hear. It's called Alfred the Wolf and the Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in the countryside. Each was very different from one another. And they were threatened by a ferocious wolf. They decided to build houses of their own to take shelter. Rita was very tall and yellow and didn't like working very much, so she decided to build a little house made of straw so she could finish quickly and go out and play. But what Rita didn't know was that the wolf was about to give her the biggest scare of her life. On the other hand, we have Milo. Milo was a great worker and a wonderful carpenter, so he decided to build a house made of wood. Milo was sure that his house was very strong and never thought for one second that anything bad could happen to him. He's a real expert creating houses made of wood, but what he really wants to do is finish quickly to go out and play with Rita. The last pig was Olga, the best looking and hardest working little pig the valley had ever seen. Olga decided to build a house made from stone and brick. It was a very strong house and was very secure even if it took a lot of effort. I've already finished my house and you should know that my house is made of straw and is just as good as yours made of wood. What a waste of time. Mine is already complete. I'm the fastest and the best. <laughs> what on earth made you build a house of stone? I made one out of straw and it's already finished. While on the other hand, you're wasting time making a house of stone? <laughs> All of a sudden, a strong, ferocious, and terrible wolf approached our friends with the intention of eating them all up in one single bite. By the time they noticed, the wolf was already very close and they all yelled, A wolf! A wolf! 
all went inside their respective houses and just barely saved themselves. But the wolf was very hungry, so he decided to go to Rita's house. I'm so hungry! I'm going to eat the little pig who's inside this house. You won't be able to come in my house. That's what you think. I'll show you how I can huff and puff and blow your house down. The wolf blew very hard and the house went flying through the air. Rita, afraid that the wolf was going to eat her, ran as fast as she could into the house made of wood. But the ferocious wolf followed her. Come out of that house or I'm going to eat you. We will never come out. This house is very strong and you won't be able to come inside. That's what you think. I'll huff and I'll puff until this house flies away too. The ferocious wolf huffed and puffed and the house trembled but remained in place. He blew again and the house flew up in the air. Rita and Mila were shocked to see that the house had been blown away and they quickly started running to Olga's house. But the wolf followed them. Come out or I'll huff and I'll puff and blow this house down too. I don't think you'll be able to do that with this one. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. That's what you think. Now I'll show you. <laughs> wolf blew and blew but the house wouldn't move. You see, Mr. Wolf, you can't blow away this house. <sighs> the wolf tried, but the house wouldn't move. Then the wolf went up on the roof and tried to get in through the chimney. But the three little pigs lit the fireplace. When the wolf reached the ground, he burned his behind and ran away. Ouch! 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 That really burns! It really burns! Finally, the little pigs were safe, and the wolf never came back to bother them again. End of the story. I don't understand what's taking them so long to get here. It had to be on the day I prepared a surprise, and now nobody shows up. Hmm. They'll be here soon. Talolo! I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? I see. So, is everything fine? It's been a long time since we talked about what good friends we are and all. I think that you are one of my best friends. I'm so glad to see you. By the way, where is everybody else? I've got something to celebrate and want everybody else to be here with me. Hello, Olga. Where are you going in such a rush? Tell everyone to come quick. I've got something important to tell you all. Olga, please don't go. What's up with Olga? She always stops to talk to me, and today it's as if she didn't even see me. Hi, Mumu. I'm so glad to see you. Can you stop for a minute? I've got something really important to tell you. I'm in a big hurry. I can't stop and talk right now. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Mumu, listen to me. I've got something to... I don't know what's going on, but I don't like this one bit. Hey, here comes Alfred. I'll ask him. Hi, Alfred. Alfred? Alfred? Alfred! Don't you run off too. Talalo. Today's a very special day for me, and nobody wants to be here with me. I am so tired. Hi, Rita. I'm so glad to see you. How you doing? Didn't you just hear me? I'm very tired. All day running from here to there, without breathing, without stopping. That's great, Rita. I'm so happy that you're here next to me. I've tried talking with everybody, and they're acting crazy going all over the place and ignoring what? me. What? Uh, how? Uh, where? Uh, I forgot something. Uh, where'd everyone go? Well, Mumu over there, Olga over there. I don't know. Everybody went somewhere different. Oh, well, I'm going to go this way. See you. Now I really don't get it. Today is my birthday, and I wanted to celebrate it with all my friends, but they're all too busy doing their own things. Look what I've prepared. 
a big old snack with all kinds of candies. Now I'll have to eat it all alone. Hi, Talalo. How's Milo? Does he have any idea that we're throwing him a party? Poor Milo. He thinks that we've forgotten about his birthday. But when he sees the cake we made for him and all the nice presents we've made for him, he's going to be speechless. The cake is ready, and it turned out perfect. And I made him a bag where he can keep all his things. I made him a really nice wooden flute, which I've been working on for two months. I know he's really going to like well, it. Well, I... Well, I... Well, I actually forgot about my present. I had so many things in my head that I didn't remember. We can't let that happen. We need to make him something in less than two minutes. Something clever and that he'd like a lot. I feel terrible for not having remembered. What a bad friend I am. Don't you worry, Alfred. You'll see that we'll come up with something quick. I've got it! Why don't we give him a drum? And how do we make a drum in two minutes? Leave it to me. I'll be right back. I just need uh -huh. two wooden sticks, an empty tin, rubber balls, and two balloons. I put the balls on the ends of the uh -huh. sticks like this, and I've got the oh. drum sticks. Uh -huh. ah. Now I stretch a balloon on one end of the tin and the other on the oh. other end. And now it's ready. Oh. I'm so clever. Now I just need to hear how it sounds. The drum is ready. Now we just have to put it in a box and we've got a present. Rita. You're the best! You've saved me from looking like a bad friend! Yay! Well, since nobody's coming, I'll have to eat the snack by myself. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Milo! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I thought that you all had forgotten about my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy that I almost feel like crying. Happy birthday, Milo! Here is my present. And this one is mine, a cake for everybody. And this is my gift. Happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday, Milo! Thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Now everyone, time Yay! to celebrate! Yay! 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 <laughs> Yay! Yay!